operate the JBoss application server and gives you the flexibility to keep on adding the additional servers. Clear? What is a domain mode? Domain mode is nothing but, okay, it's a mode which is by default used in the production environment. Standalone mode by default, okay. Mark my words, it's by default. There's a difference, okay. So domain mode is something which I use in a production environment. Standalone mode is something which I use in the development environment. Domain mode is nothing but, okay. Domain mode is nothing but it's a mode which will allow me to add the servers dynamically into my environment in a horizontal way, okay. Horizontally, I can try to scale up my environment in a domain mode in case of a standalone environment i can continuously add servers to the standalone mode in a vertical fashion okay in a vertical mode clear what is a horizontal okay what is a domain mode domain mode is the one which will allow me to add the servers on demand okay into my existing environment in a horizontal trend in case of a word standalone mode standalone mode will allow me to add the servers into my environment in a vertical mode in a vertical fashion clear not clear just to elaborate on the term called as an horizontal and vertical okay horizontal is nothing but okay let's say i have a currently a setup where jboss runs on two systems for some reason okay i want to add more servers to the current architecture for the capacity point of view or for any reason you want to add couple of more servers into the jboss application server what should you do now okay there's no need for you to think about buying an extra hardware of the current requirement and try to add the servers bring up an another instance in a new machine and plug it let's say that down the line after some reason your application become very famous like your gmail or a google and now it has to serve the huge load no problem you there's no need for you to scrap the existing hardware okay with the ex with the existing hardware okay you try to get a new hardware install the jboss application server plug it into the existing architecture okay horizontally you can scale up in case of a standalone mode it is it is a vertical scale it supports vertical scalability of your environment what do i mean by vertical scaling vertical scaling is nothing but whatever the servers I'm trying to add inside my environment it is added only and only <coughs> in a single machine let's say that I have a JBoss application server operated in a standalone mode if I want to add the servers I can only add them okay in the same machine where my current setup is there okay I can hard I can not horizontally scale the environment i can vertically scale the environment okay perfectly fine Shiva. what is the advantages and disadvantages with the domain mode domain mode since it is horizontally scalable i have a guarantee of better better availability or high availability in case of a standalone mode i have a guarantee of better performance clear anyone any question on this advantages everyone clear about the advantage better better availability or higher availability and high better performance or high performance anyone any questions uh, Shiva, this is uh, Raja Rade. So yeah hi Raja. joining late no problem uh, uh, could you please give me the brief about like uh, what it has been happened still now? We just started talking about the prerequisite to to do the more learning on the JBoss application server, and I told that there is something called as in terminology which you have to uh, know, 
and then install the JBoss application server so that you can explore more about the JBoss application server. Having introduced the term called as in terminology, I first started off with the two terms called as in domain mode and standalone mode. Okay. okay. How about others? Anyone, any question? Aditya, Naveen, Kirti? Yes, you I have a question uh, in terms of the standalone mode and domain mode in terms of, you know, the uh, features. And I do understand, you know, in domain mode, the better availability will get. But how this standalone mode is having better performance? Uh, if I'm talking about, you know, installing the, these two different things in the, in the same set of hardware. Okay. But, okay, I'll park this question. How about uh, Kirti or Navin? You guys have any question? No, Shiva. Awesome. No awesome. So, except uh, Aditya, I have a question. How do I say that? Okay, my domain mode gives me a higher availability. How do I know that my domain mode gives me a guarantee of better or higher availability? Except Aditya. I really love this silence when someone asks a question and if the complete audience are silent, awesome for the person who's sitting on that uh, chair. I remember school days. So, my, this is Rarate. Domain mode generally used for the uh, cluster environment, right? So, cluster environment have like a two, two, three, more than uh, like two servers. Right? Even your standard mode also can be clustered. Even your standalone mode also, okay, your standalone mode can be clustered. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Silence, I'll assume you don't know. How about Aditya? Can you say how we get a guarantee of better availability in domain mode? Uh as you, you know, as you said, like we have uh, horizontal scaling. So hopefully it is having, you know, the multiple instances of JBoss hosted on different machine and working in a common env environment. So hopefully, if, you know, if one gets down probably, or one is, you know, not performing well, then probably it can be flip over to the another one. Awesome. So this is what I understand, you know, with high availability. Awesome, awesome, yeah. yeah simple example guys if you see your any typical company okay let's say that you as an uh, jp morgan chase company okay again i don't work for jp morgan chase yeah so you as a jp morgan chase ceo or the cto of the company okay you have to also certain parts of your and uh, banking stuff or financial sector to some it vendors Generally, in most of the scenarios, we don't outsource the complete IT related stuff to one particular company. Okay, TCS or Infi or Stechem or what are the company you name it. Okay, we outsource to a couple of vendors. Another simple example we have our IT, the IT team, okay, support or the development team. We don't have all the team members sitting in India or all the team members sitting in US or all the team members sitting in Bangalore. We generally have a team distributed across geographies. Okay, especially they try to follow the model called as an around the sun. Why like that? Because for any reason, if the team in Hyderabad are not available, okay, whatever the uh, things are needed to have the support continued i can have the bangalore team working let's say that there was some agitation going on in hyderabad okay for some reason like it happened how it happened two to three years back telangana and the separation roads were completely blocked okay power supply was intermittent okay i cannot step out of my house so what should i do i can't go to the office i'll simply drop an email saying that i'm not available imagine my team is completely sitting only in hyderabad the hyderabad operations has to be shut down but let's say that i have a team sitting in hyderabad and bangalore 
okay for some reasons if hyderabad team is not available the work even though it's a little overloaded that work can be distributed to the bangalore team same is the case of the domain mode in case of a domain mode okay since the servers are horizontally scalable in the sense that i have jboss application server installed in multiple machines so even though one of the machine goes down, it's a little, it's not a major blocker. It's not a major impact. It's a minor impact. The work can still be continued. The application availability can still be continued with the other servers in your environment. Point number one. And coming to the second one, standalone mode. Okay. I'm saying that the advantage is that we get a better performance. Sure. How do I get the better performance? Very simple. All the servers, okay, are sitting in the same machine. For any reason, if they need to communicate with each other, there is no need for them to communicate over the network. All of them are sitting in the same place. So the time taken for the request is very less. So obviously, the time taken for the response would be reduced. Obviously, it gives me a guarantee of better performance. Clear? Not clear. The details of the horizontal or the vertical scaling I'll talk about while trying to talk about the clusters with a better example. But anyone, any questions at a very high level? Remember, domain mode and standalone mode are the modes of operating your JBoss. I can run the JBoss application server in a domain mode or a standalone mode. Mode is nothing but, okay, it's a way how you want to drive the behavior shiva can work as a jboss admin shiva can work as a web logic admin shiva can work as an any application server admin shiva can also work on the pre-sales or the cloud environment okay how you want to run the show according to that shiva will mold himself in a similar way what is your requirement according to that you can allow or you can drive the behavior of the JBoss application server by running it in a domain mode or a standalone mode. That is what I mean to say by the term mode. Clear, not clear. Anyone, any questions? You're all there or having a good sleep? We are here. I have no questions. Excellent. Because complete silence, I thought uh, it's a little early in the morning for the people in India and it's a little late in the night in the US. So I thought a couple of them had a good nap. Excellent. Yeah. So that is the advantage. Okay. And the disadvantage with the domain mode is performance. And with the standard mode, it's a availability. This is the general disadvantages between the standalone mode and domain mode. Apart from that, there are a couple of more other disadvantages. I'm oh, sorry, there are a couple of more differences between your JBoss application server operated in a standalone mode or a domain mode. What is that Shiva? In case of a standalone mode, we have a folder called as an deployment. What is so special about this deployment folder, Shiva? In case of a deployment process, you want to deploy a var or er file. There's no need to follow the standard deployment practices. You can just copy your var file and put it inside the deployment folder. Automatically, your application server, JBoss application server, takes care of the deployment of that particular application how what are the concepts related to that i'll talk a little bit later but using the deployment folder you can have an auto deployment of your application without following the deployment process clear not clear kiti raja navin aditya clear shiva excellent Okay, so this is an another difference between the domain mode and standalone mode. There's also another difference. Okay, just take this difference in another couple of more minutes. I'll talk about the uh, feature in a little bit more. In case of an domain mode, 
all your profiles will be available in one particular file called as domain.xml don't ask me what is meant by profile okay i'll talk about the profiles in just another few more minutes but in case of an standalone mode we have a dedicated file for each and every profile clear we have a dedicated file for each and every profile but in case of in domain mode all of these are available in a one particular xml file called as an domain.xml file clear not clear profile i'll talk about it in just a couple of minutes